So hi, uh, I just found out about uh, Manim, which is a Python library for creating mathematical animations. And animations look really, really good. Uh, that's why this guy who created it has over 7 million subscribers. These are really, really interesting and uh, really smooth. So uh, I kind of figured I could use this to create myself a nice looking uh, introduction. So uh, this is what we are going to create today. We are going to use this uh, community maintained uh, version of the Manim uh, because it should be better documented and easy, easier to implement. Okay, yeah, let's just uh, give uh, uh, our agent the prompt. Let's try. Uh, create me a PRD document for a Python script that uses Manim and I pasted the, the link to the documentation. To create four random characters appear on the screen with random intervals and then transform transmorph them into words vibe. After that animation is uh, done, made, uh, make a fade-in effect for the other word code. Appear below the first word nicely aligned and centered. Okay, so let's just uh, create a PRD. We now have our PRD document for the animation. And what we are going to use now is MCP Taskmaster or Taskmaster MCP. Uh, let's just I'm just going to tell him to initialize Taskmaster AI and he is going to use this PRD to create a task list for uh, this project. There we go, he is using Taskmaster and he is creating a bunch of uh, folders here. Uh, it's meant for cursor but uh, other coders can use it also. So uh, he's going to create uh, a PRD uh, that uh, that uh, this MCP is going to use to create tasks and here we are going to see a list of uh, a bunch of uh, document TXT do documents uh, each one representing a single task by the way while it's uh, doing this uh, let's let's just quickly go over the taskmaster if you just write taskmaster AI into the Google uh, search you will be presented with with their site and uh, with the GitHub repo. Uh, I am using uh, the MCP version of the Taskmaster, so I'm just gonna quickly tell you that you just need to uh, go to this uh, repo and just copy this part of the code, and that's it. Uh, I mean this part of the code, uh, and that's it. You just uh, go into your AI coding tool. Uh, okay, so he's done with the tasks. We have eight tasks. Uh, you just go into your uh, AI coding tool, uh, click on the MCP, and uh, click configure. I'm not gonna do that because uh, I will expose my API keys, but just paste it in place with the other uh, MCP tools that you have. FCP servers that you have in that uh, f configure file. And that's it. He created all the tasks uh, and I can show you how they look. This is task 1, this is task 2, this is task 3, three up to 8. The better uh, your uh, initial uh, description and the PRD, the better uh, the task list. Uh, it will contain more information for the AI agent to work upon. Uh, he is ex asking uh, if uh, we want to start with the project. I'm just going to say yes. Okay, so he is going to create a virtual environment, virtual environment, and he is going to install uh, Manim and NumPy. I don't know what's happening with Cascade. Uh, the last two days. It's just stuck at this uh, running. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do what he said. I mean, I gave him the permission, and he's not doing it. I don't know. 
they issued a patch today, but uh, it still wasn't fixed. So we are uh, we activated our environment and installed the NumPy and Manim libraries. And now he is creating a project structure. Okay, he is making a test scene. Which failed. And this is what I mean, he just randomly stops working. And uh, I tried uh, multiple uh, models, so that's not a model thing, it's a uh, cascade. So we have a basic scene, we created the circle. And now he is asking us if we want to create wipe code animation. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so we have our scene set up. <laughs> okay, and he's blocked again. Okay, let's just accept here. The setup scene is good. Let's create our main animation now. <laughs> okay, so uh, he did it, uh, and uh, it's it's really okay for our first uh, pass. Uh, it's cool. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's continue. Now we're going to optimize the animation improve timing and transitions and add some polish to the final animation. We might do uh, another pass later on, but let's see what uh, he can do. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, so uh, let's uh, figure out what we can do with this animation. I did a bit of uh, searching and uh, landed on this. Uh, so I have some typography uh, improvements that I want to implement as well as some animation improvements. So let's see what this does. I want uh, to use bold Arial font for uh, outline and uh, a larger font size. Also, I want uh, letters to have a stroke for better visibility. Uh, and in animation improvements, I want smoother transformation into linear rate function, right animation for code, uh, subtle scale animation at the end, uh, we'll see what that is, uh, and better spacing for the characters, and slightly raised positions, position for better composition. Uh, yeah, so. I just got that from uh, googling a bit. Okay, it seems like it did something. Let's just uh, wait for it to end and create the video. It's so annoying that it uh, gets stuck here. Especially when you have tracebacks. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna revert it and uh, add uh, just uh, small embellishments and be done with it. And it's working. Okay, we're gonna accept that. The timing. I just don't uh, like the way it uh, just does this bump. Uh, 
I don't actually know how to describe it, what I want. I would like to, uh, to adjust the timing uh, for the subtle scale animation at the end. Uh, it's way too short, uh, so it looks like a bump. Can you make it longer uh, or just uh, to go in one way? Or just to scale in one way? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, pretty good. I just want to fix this uh, last part. That bump looks uh, a bit weird. Okay, so he did create a longer duration for scale. And uh, it broke. <laughs> oh. Why are there numbers now? Yeah, I don't like this. Okay. Uh, can you just remove the scaling animation at the end and don't just add numbers at the start of the animation? I want the characters to be random. Okay, so there was an error again, and of course, cascade also stuck. So, actually, uh, when I fix this, I, I think I'm gonna leave it as is uh, because the cascade is not working uh, properly uh, today or yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call it. I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna leave uh, whatever we get that works. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it. Uh, we can tinker around with with it uh, um, some more, and uh, we can make it. Uh, we can add sounds and whatnot. But uh, this really, this really annoys me. So I'm just gonna stop right here. Uh, what we got here is actually quite good. Uh, we can probably make it uh, much better. We can use uh, shapes instead of characters, uh, uh, or uh, I don't know, maybe maybe uh, add some tran transformations. Uh, from letter to letter or, or, or something like that, so, some cipher looking uh, animation uh, can be done. It just depends uh, on your imagination. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I hope that this video uh, helped you in uh, some way and uh, that you are going to give money uh, a try. Uh, and it's actually quite fun, this is something that uh, I would really like to learn Hope you like this video and uh, see you in the next one.